could you do if you get bored at school? Prank your friends! Give your friends some crayons that don't write, add some sparkle to your deskmate's notebook, or eat toothpaste right in front of the teacher. Watch our new video about funny school pranks. Dolly's running late. This is the perfect chance to prank her and place a noisy cushion on her seat. Glue two foam sheets together to make a cushion. Decorate the edge with a foam paper trimming. Pour stale cornflakes inside. Glue the cushion shut. Dolly comes into the room and sits down. Oops! Someone's noisy today! How awkward! But it turns out that it's just a cushion that her caring friend put there for her. A test is serious business. Stephanie's very nervous. She needs to wipe her sweaty forehead. Here, take a wipe. Unfold a tissue. Pour flour inside. And fold it back up. Stephanie wipes her face with the tissue and turns paler than snow. This tissue has a matte effect thanks to the flower. Stephanie looks like a baker's apprentice. That's not enough for Dolly. She immediately gives her friends some Sprite to freshen up. Pour Sprite from a bottle into a cup. Remove the label from the bottle. Poke holes under it with an awl and glue the label back on. Stephanie's happy to take the Sprite, but as soon as she starts drinking, soda spills out of the bottle right onto the desk. How horrible! This prank really made Stephanie suffer, but everyone else in the class is having fun. The girls decide to prank Miss Smith. Stephanie takes out some toothpaste and starts eating it right from the tube. Beat an egg white. Add three tablespoons of powdered sugar. Keep beating into thick foam. Pour water into a spoon of gelatin and microwave it. Pour the gelatin into the egg white and beat it with a mixer. Cut open and clean out a tube of toothpaste. Fill it with the sweet cream. Wrap the end with parchment paper and seal it with a flat iron. Whoa! Look at that! Stephanie's serious about oral hygiene. But there's more! Dolly gets out some cat food and starts scarfing it down like it's her last meal. Remove cat food from its package. Pour cereal of a similar shape inside instead. Glue the box shut. Dolly's very into cat food these days. Just wait, she'll start purring from happiness. Miss Smith sees these strange diets. These poor girls studied so much they went crazy. Don't worry, Miss Smith. It's just regular food. Bad habits are contagious. Even our teacher enjoys eating cat food now. Dolly boldly breaks all our school rules. She takes out powder right at her desk and starts fixing up her and her friend's nose. Add silicone to cornstarch. Quickly mix it together.
Sprinkle it with more cornstarch and shape a rectangular makeup sponge. Glue on a satin ribbon as a loop. Put the sponge into a powder box. Miss Smith sees our forbidden makeup. That's not allowed. Think again. This sponge is just a regular eraser. And it's perfectly all right to erase mistakes using a makeup sponge. And Stephanie gets out some nail polish. I wonder what's so special about it. Pour glue into an empty nail polish bottle. Add a drop of coloring. And some glitter. Mix. The teacher sees another infraction. It's just glue, Miss Smith. It's completely harmless and not even against our school rules. It only looks like nail polish. Miss Smith can't do this anymore. Her students are always pranking her. When will all this end? School supplies and makeup and makeup in school supplies? Her pedagogical nerves won't survive it. The girls understand that they took their pranks too far. We need to cheer our teacher back up. What about some stress-relieving toast? Trace a paint palette on a sheet of foam rubber. Cut it out. Cut an opening for a finger in the center. Color the palette with bread-colored rubber paint. Cut to strip the width of the foam rubber out of felt and cover the palette like a bread crust. Accent the color with paint. Make paint blotches out of light clay. Cover them with acrylic polish and glue them onto the palette. Stephanie gives Miss Smith a palette with colorful sauces. Is this another prank? Miss Smith isn't a pigeon. Quit trying to give her bread. Chill out, Miss Smith. This is just a soft stress reliever. A toast palette with jam paint. To cheer you up. Fine. The girls are forgiven. The palette calmed down our teacher. Crisis averted. Miss Smith also decided to prank her students. Dolly's answering questions at the desk. And Miss Smith gives her some unusual chalk. Trim some crayons. Pour some pieces of old chalks into a bag. Crush them into a powder. Rub glue onto the crayons and coat them with the chalk powder. Put the crayons into a box from chalks. Miss Smith can't wait for this prank to work, but she overestimated it. The crayons work great on the blackboard. The teacher's prank gets an F. Miss Smith is upset and chases Dolly away so she can erase the board herself. But unfortunately, she forgot about the sequel to her own prank. Cut a magnetic blackboard eraser in half. Make a groove in the middle. Sprinkle in different colors of glitter. And seal the eraser back up using double-sided tape. Attach a wide strip of double-sided tape on top. Miss Smith got stuck on her own prank. She tries to remove the eraser from her hand, but that just tears the eraser open and covers everything with glitter. What a shining example of a prank gone wrong, Miss Smith. Dolly needs to fix her notebook. It's disobedient and refuses to close, but her friend has a binder clip ready to go. Let's see what happens. Pour water into a Ziploc bag and add in some glitter. Twist the bag so all the water will be in one corner. 
and put it inside the binder clip. Trim the excess. Dolly opens up the clip and pink sparkly liquid pours onto her notebook. What a disaster! Her notebook turned into a sketchbook. Stephanie's on her phone in class, but Miss Smith tells her to stop. Put your phone away immediately. Dolly takes advantage of this and decides to prank Stephanie. She's holding a hot glue gun suspiciously close. Coat parchment paper with Vaseline. Squeeze out some hot glue in the shape of a puddle. When the glue dries, remove it from the paper. Stephanie's phone is covered with hot glue. This is the end! Dolly acts really, really sorry, then confesses that this is just a drop of dried glue for a prank. But Stephanie isn't laughing. She almost had a heart attack. Dolly makes herself right at home using her friend's pencil case. I should teach her a lesson. And I have the perfect prank. Color fonded pink using food coloring. Make a tongue shape. Use a modeling tool to add texture. Put the tongue on an upside down bowl. Create a bend. Let the fondant dry in that position. Stephanie takes out the sweet tongue and puts it in the case. Dolly sees someone's tongue on the desk. Oh gosh, that's gross. The pencil case is sticking its tongue out at Dolly. Even Miss Smith feels sick when she sees it. But as soon as Dolly sees that the tongue is fake, she understands who's in charge around here. So that's what happens to people who run their mouths. It's a gruesome sight. While Miss Smith calculates the distance between herself and Brad Pitt, the girls are coming up with new pranks. Art class is the perfect time to play some tricks. The girls prepared some pranks for each other. Stephanie gave paints to her friend, and Dolly loaned Stephanie some crayons. Trim regular pencils to be the length of crayons. Tone the edges with acrylic paints. Glue a printed out Crayola label on top. Put the pencils into a crayon box. Stephanie takes a crayon out of the box, but it refuses to draw on her notebook. Maybe it's just old. Although it seems like the whole package is malfunctioning. Not a single one is working. This has to be Dolly's influence. And Dolly wants to paint with her new watercolors. Unfortunately, she'll never be an artist with these paints. Coat watercolor paints with clear nail polish. No matter how hard Dolly tries, these watercolors stay invisible. Is this spy technology or something? It's probably just a prank by Stephanie. But the girls aren't even mad at each other. It's a prank tie! Did you like our funny pranks? Let us know in the comments about how you'll prank your friends in school. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new pranks from Troom Troom.